What is going on guys? This is Two Noobs Gaming and we are back for some more Mad Max gameplay. Today we are going to be checking out how to clear a minefield. So these minefield icons pop up um, occasionally when you come near them or come across them and Chum Bucket will mention something or if you have uh, if you happen to run over one of them then it'll it'll appear really quickly. But basically you have to use your canine companion and Chum Bucket's buggy. So you come over here rather than get in your car you hit square, if you're on the PS4, to choose a different vehicle. So you come over here to vehicle collection, and you scroll down to, let's find it, Chum's Buggy, right there. So you select Chum's Buggy, and what you're going to do is, as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, the dog... Let's see if I can get some light. There we go. If you can see inside there, the dog's in there. So basically what we're going to do is come over here, select this minefield, and we're going to go out there. Oh, wait. You really don't want to come across any uh, any war boys or any adversaries while you're in Chum's Bucky because you don't have your grappling hook, and I don't know about you guys, but that's my main way of defense. Oh, shit. And you don't have any boosts either, so what we're going to do is we're just going to try to outrun this guy. Actually. Let's let him pass. Maybe he'll keep going. Leave us alone. So we're going to continue on the path to the minefield. Hopefully we won't run into anything crazy. It is getting dark, and that's when the fucking night terrors come out, so... Alright, so as you can see, the dog jumps out, and you can see he's pointing in a certain direction. So as you turn that direction, he looks straight. He's indicating a minefield. I already know the location of the minefield because I came across it before. Alright. Now you can hear him get loud. When you get in the minefield, you want to go really slow. When you hear him get kind of crazy barking. So, you can see he's looking that way. So we're going to go that way. Alright, so as you can see, a mine just appeared right here. So you just get out, come over here, and you defuse it. And I'm not sure how many are in all the minefields. Last one I did, there were, as you can see, there's three here. It just says objectives. There were, uh, I think there were four in the last one I was in. Alright, so again, find the direction he's pointing, and you go that way. And don't go too fast. You don't have to go terribly slow, but you don't want to, you don't want to run over the mine. Because a single mine may wipe your ass out. Alright, there we go. He found another one. So the closer you get, the more intense the dog's barking gets. All right, so it looks like we got one left. And he's facing that direction, so let's move on over there. All right, and he found the last one, so let's go defuse it. Oh, and that's right there, my friends. What you don't do. Alright, as you can see, we are back. We magically reappeared, resuscitated, came back to life, whatever you want to call it. And we are going to try not to kill ourselves this time. So, dog is barking in this direction, so we're going to creep. Creep. Alright. There she blows. This time, I am not going to step on the mine. What I was doing was just showing you guys what not to do. <laughs> so, let's creep. Creep very slow. And let's defuse it. That should be the last one. Alright. And as you can see, the threat gets lowered in Jeet's territory. Not by very much. That's my only complaint about these minefields. It takes a lot of effort as far as compared to other things like running over a scarecrow or pulling a sniper out of his nest. And you don't get much return off of it for lowering the territory threat. So anyway, guys, that's... That is it. That's how you defuse a minefield in Mad Max. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment in the comments.